Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the Yorkshire Oaks, a horse that struggled to settle, but that was given a masterful ride by the imperious Ryan Moore. I give you content. And congratulations to the horse's owners from the all-conquering Kulmo team, Michael Tabor and Paul Smith. I couldn't remember the wife's name, so I do apologise, and I'll carry on. To the winning trainer, the genius, that is Aidan O'Brien. And to content's jockey, the master craftsman, Ryan Moore. Now, that's how a chapman could have given a um, presentation speech. That's how he could have given it. Any old chapman could have. This is how the chapman gave it, the old Matt Chapman. Last year, it was all about a warm heart for Coolmore. This year, they are merely contented. To our winning owner, the lads. And then he produced the name, the lads, and threw a woman's name in there. And I thought, she's not one of the lads, unless she's hiding some of the, something that we don't know. I hope she doesn't end up boxing against women and she's really a man. She did look like a man, but you never know in this day and age. Anyway, to our winning owners, the lads. The boys are back in town. Me heart sunk when I heard that. I loved all Phil Lynette and Finlay's day. The boys are back in town. After yesterday, Michael Tabor, Paul Smith and Sarah Smith. That was the name I was missing before, Sarah Smith. And after Galileo proved himself the sire of sires. They can do the Fandango. I was hoping some thunderbolts and lightning would come down and strike him and kill him there and then. I don't wish death on people, but I did in that moment uh, for Matt Chapman. They can do the Fandango. They're all looking at each other on, on podium thinking, what's he on about now? What's going on? Did it get any worse from there? Wait a minute. Bum, 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 bum. He went to Aidan O'Brien, the best trainer on planet Earth. He's brilliant, there's no doubt about it, but there might be some trainers in that there in America or, or Australia got something to say about that. I know he will be delighted... This was Ryan Moore. I know he will be delighted to be back for more. If indeed he is back for more. The winning rider, Ryan Moore. Ooh, he's chosen not to look at me today, he said as Ryan Moore walked up. Ryan Moore gave him a wide berth. Everybody knew what was said yesterday and they were all sniggering. I noticed before Ryan Moore came up that old Lydia and Nick Luck from the race, uh, from Racing TV, Racing Channel, especially Nick Luck, was laughing at everything Chapman was saying. Not laughing thinking, oh, you're funny, but laughing in embarrassment. He was thinking to himself, this guy's just digging a bigger and bigger and bigger hole. Was there any more than that? Oh, it ended with, it's fair to say, a lot of them are content today. And I thought to myself, absolute tosh. After yesterday's presentation speech, and I thought to myself, it can get worse than that yesterday, I thought, I wonder if they'll duck him and give it someone else the presentation speech. I'll miss it altogether. And when I seen Ryan Moore wasn't being interviewed by Chapman, nor was O'Brien, it was old Dolly Bell that did it. I thought, well, I'd see have realised that he's a car crash, he's old uh, Chapman, and Moore doesn't want to be seen with him at all. So I thought, they've learned a lesson. And I thought, he won't be doing the presentation. All of a sudden, they went over to Chapman and I thought, oh, no, 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 not again. It's cringeworthy, it really is. But I never thought he'd get the boys are back in town and Queen's Fandango in there. I never thought that for one moment. Anyway, no Thunderbolts and Lightning came down. None of Timmy's still here, so God knows what he's going to say tomorrow. I don't think it's ITV. I think it's York. I think York races have some kind of deal with him to do the presentations. I really do. And it's just really poor. At a time when ITV are saying, what can we do to get folk watching the, the TV station, watching the racing? They're backing up the wrong tree with Chapman. They really are. They are. Somebody mentioned to me last night that he's not really that bad and he's good for racing. And somebody mentioned to me, do you not know more he's hard to interview? Yes, I do. Do you not know that Aidan O'Brien praises absolutely everyone and he calls the owners the lads? Of course I know that. I do know that. We all know he calls them the lads. But when Chapman goes on and on and on about the lads, and as I say, Tabor's nigh on 80, or probably is 80, looks at Ellie could barely walk. Folk could be watching that that's never seen anti Base before, thinking, which lads are they? Where's some lads? And he just mentioned the lads, and there's a woman there. 
it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I cannot believe they're doing it. That, for me, probably hit all-time lows today on the presentation speech. That was cringeworthy. It really, really, really was. And it's not that I've got a thing against ITV Racing or Chapman per se. It's not. But he's just crap. He, he gets these, these, these little speeches, makes them all up himself. You can see he's made them up himself. And he thinks they're good. He thinks they're funny. It's got to be about him. When he said, oh, I can see Ryan Moore's not looking at me today, doesn't... Well, I never on laughed. Is that not telling him something? He knows that Moore doesn't want to be interviewed by him. He knows that Moore doesn't want to stand next to him. He knows that Moore doesn't find him funny or in the least bit entertaining. So should that not tell him that he's doing wrong? Should he not tell him to rein it in and try to change? If he's going to keep the gig, try to change. Because when the biggest jockey in the UK has got no time for him, that tells him he's doing the job incorrectly. He's doing it wrong. Absolutely crap. I hope someone I hope at ITV watches this, because I'm a nobody, folks. I'm nothing. I know that. But at the end of the day, I love racing. I love Channel 4 racing. Channel 4 racing, the product there with McCrick and Frankham and Down at all, was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And what was that now? 10, 12, 15 years ago? We've gone backwards hugely. There's still people writing into the Racing Post and Sporting Live saying the ITV product is great and that it's not, it's crap. The amount of days that ITV gives to it and the coverage is brilliant. That is brilliant. Better than the BBC ever did, better than Channel 4 ever did. There's more race days than ever. You watch the end of the race and then you flick over to his ITV 3 or 4 and watch Newcastle. I don't, I don't bother. I look at the real big meetings, this Thursday series, Sunday series, all that. I, I'm not interested in all that. It's just taking spoon racing for me. But at the end of the day, it's great what they're doing for racing, as, as in the time they're giving it. But get some proper presenters, some people that are best in class. Move everybody over from uh, our UK or our TV and, and swap them all. Move everyone from ITV to Racing UK. Racing UK will die a death then, you've got to subscribe to that. But bring Nick Luck over and Lydia Islop. You've got professionals doing a professional job. You really have. They are best in class. You're never going to get Frank come back anymore, I'll list it down. They've gone, you're not going to get them, sadly. So bring the best out there, and the best out there on Racing TV. That was woeful today, absolutely woeful. It really, really was. He should have been talking about the ride, he gave content. He got the right ground, the right place on the track. Content was fighting for it, he said, all the way round, didn't want to know. A brilliant ride from him. Brilliant training performance from uh, O'Brien. To reverse the, um, was it the Irish Oaks uh, um, placings? I think it was. Great performance. Really good. Focus on that instead of the lads and the boys are back in town and Fandango. It's just absolutely piss poor. It really, really, really is. And if folk disagree with me in the comments, you're quite welcome to, uh, ladies, gents. That's what it's all about here. You know I'll always accept every single comment. But I can't understand how anybody can defend Matt Chapman based on what we've seen over the last two days um, on them podiums, especially today. Today was just an all-time low. He's got two more days to go. I don't think he can top today. I really, really don't. But if I'm at Tide TV or, or York or whoever's put him up there to do that job, I'm pulling him today. I'm saying, no, 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 tomorrow it's somebody else doing it. Somebody else doing it. Very, very poor.